I said, the, the way forward is open. Very open. And I'm going to lead in bringing this country together. Some people have and mis very mistakenly argued. Oh, now this is going, taking us back to 2007. If you are that type of a Kenyan, um, allow me to say, shame on you. With a lot of respect. And you want this country to go back to post-election violence of 2007? Why don't you, even if you want to be tempted to think that way, why don't you give me credit that I actually brought order to the country and stop the killing? And stop the killing. And ask yourself whether there was any killing at the strongholds of ODM Kenya at we, as, then, as we then were before it became Wiper Democratic Movement. We saved literally this country. I'm quite sure we will not go that way again. It's really sad that each and every time Reludinga is defeated fairly and democratically as the way it should be, Reludinga always thinks that he can use other methods, various illegal ways to win through the threats, through the intimidations, through the use of a lot of force, the street protests and the demonstrations and the mass actions, and also the use of propaganda. Like for example, in this case, Reludinga has already called for a rally in Kamukunji on Tuesday next week, even though Relo Denga has termed that event as a public engagement. But I know that is how Relo Denga starts because I still remember very well brief previously when Relo Denga was defeated in the 2022 general elections outcome, Relo Denga started these rallies, calling them the, uh, the, the public barazas. So this is what Relo Denga is calling this event on Tuesday as um, the public engagement. And the main reason as to why Reludinga has called for this rally, ladies and gentlemen, is because he was humiliated badly and defeated badly during the Finance Bill 2023 debate in Parliament recently. The truth of the matter here is that Reludinga has organized his troops in Parliament to oppose severely William Ruto's proposed Finance Bill 2023 and he promised that he will do everything to make sure that that bill will not pass. But already it's, it has already passed in Parliament whereby majority of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance uh, leaders and various Azimiel Omoja Alliance leaders voted to propose the bill for the finance bill 2023. So that is why Reno Dinga is very much bitter. That is why Reno Dinga has come up with this strategy to counter the finance bill 2023. So let us wait and see how things will, will unfold on Reno Dinga's side. But what I know is that Reno Dinga will go on with the street protests, the demonstrations across the country, with the mass actions, with the Mandamano Tuesday, Mandamano Friday, but at the end, the finance bill will still be passed and will become the law after William Bruto uh, puts his sign in the uh, proposed finance bill 2023. But I think for the first time, Kalonzo Musioka has made the right decision. So let me just read for you Kalonzo Musioka's statement concerning Relo Dinga's rally in Kamukunji. Kalonzo Musioka is saying that I would like to distance myself from Mandamano, my people. From, from Andamano, my people have suffered enough under selfish individuals. And I don't want to see them fall into that trap again. So that is Kalonzo Musioka's statement. What I can say is this. First of all, Kalonzo Musioka should just focus on his future politics. The truth of the matter here is that Raylo Dinga in Azimio has already uh, reached his end. What Raylo Dinga is doing is just pushing his own time ahead of his retirement. The truth of the matter here is that Raylo Dinga cannot uh, 
contest for any political seat and win. And that is why he has just accepted that role of the opposition to lead the opposition side ahead of his retirement. I personally believe that Kanozo Musioka still has got a, few, a, a political future ahead, which he must be he must consider. What is he doing in Azimio? He should be planning ahead of the 2027 general elections, if at all Kanozo Musioka wants to contest for the presidential bid. He should not wait for the last minute. He should prepare himself thoroughly. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, because because if Kanozo Musioka will be contesting, he must know who he is contesting with, William Samuel Ruto. And it is not a joke. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, what I can say is that Kanozo Musioka should come out without fear and should not depend on railroad dingers endorsement. The truth of the matter is that leadership is not given. Leadership is grabbed. If Kanozo Musioka wants it well, he should come out of that thinking capacity of endorsement. The reason as to why Kanozo Musioka is still holding on in the Azimiolo Moja Alliance and Rilo Dinga is basically because he wants to be endorsed in the 2027 general elections. So he should stop thinking like that. He should come out, grab that opportunity to become the leader. And finally, it is a gentleman through Kanozo Musioka's statement, Kanozo Musioka should prepare for the 2027 presidency. According to Kanozo Musioka's age, currently he is around 77, 78 years old, meaning uh, in coming 2027, at that age, Kanozo Musioka will still have that energy to contest for the presidential bid. If he skips the 2027 presidential contest, Kanozo Musioka should forget about his presidency completely in his political career. I don't know what you think. Let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.